Hello and good morning and afternoon to anyone who is listening. My name is Cara and welcome to the Connection Challenge brought to you by Student Volunteer Connections in collaboration with CFRU Radio Station. Um, in these unprecedented times, we're all facing unique challenges, but one that's universal is the challenge of staying connected with each other and with our communities. Um, my peer team at SVC is taking this time to share stories about the different ways the Connection Challenge is affecting members of our community, from our friends to local volunteers to different community organizations and nonprofits to highlight their resilience and creativity in dealing with these challenges. We hope that through listening, you can appreciate the value of connection and feel inspired to explore different opportunities to connect with others and communities around you. So let's get started with today's guest. So I have a very special guest with me today. She's actually right down the hallway from me. Would you like to introduce yourself? <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Um, so my name's Bryn. Um, and as I mentioned, we're actually roommates. So that's one nice way that I've been able to stay connected with friends is just <clears throat> living in a student house. Um, I'm also in my third year of sociology and I'm a part of the community engagement and social change for helper group. I'm also involved with clubs like Art with a Heart and the Retro Runway Club. Nice. We'll definitely have to talk about some of those clubs in a bit. But um, first of all, how have you been finding the virtual semester? <laughs> um, I think like hopefully everyone can relate in saying that it's struggle it's definitely a struggle it's a difficult way of um self if you're online has definitely been hard but um i find the profs are really understanding right now which is nice and um we're all kind of working together to to make this work and our new normal for the year um so yeah it's, it's been hard but managing <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I agree. It's definitely a struggle, but I agree that the profs have been like really nice and accommodating in that way. Um, so what are like some of the challenges that you're finding in staying connected with the community? Because I know there's a lot of things that can't be done now that everything's online. Have you managed to find other things to do? I know you're very busy. Yeah, um, well, something else. I'm, I'm also working um, a part time job. So as much as that's like kind of scary sometimes, just like exposure wise, um, it's still nice to connect with a community member, see how they're doing um, in terms of COVID and how they're feeling about everything um, because I'm very chatty. So I love to chat to the customers. Um, but also in general, again, I've, I'm involved with like a few clubs. So it's kind of nice um, to be able to at least chat with them, like say through Teams or Facebook Messenger or something. Um, and yeah, I'm not, I haven't found anything in the community just yet, but I definitely think that there's a lot of cool like volunteer opportunities that um, would probably be like something nice that I could think of for next semester. Yeah. You know? Yeah, for sure. Tell, so tell me about like some of these volunteer opportunities that you're in. What's Retro One Way? Um, Retro Runway, um, if anyone can remember from last year, it was basically a project where we had a fashion show made completely of sustainable clothing. So we partnered with local um, used clothing stores and also with um, people in the Guelph community that make clothing out of sustainable fabrics or used clothing or people that... Um, surfed and resell like we had a lot of really cool um, people that we collabed with and because we can't necessarily do the same kind of fashion show this year we basically made it into more of like a club <clears throat> where you can join and like bring new segments into it so like next week I believe we have like a virtual fashion week so there's like a challenge every week um, and you're going to want to send a picture in and then um, like with the theme of the day and then from there like they'll pick like the winner of the day and like show the pictures so it's just like a fun way for anyone to be able to join as well like you don't just have to be a part of like the club and like the every week meetings like you can definitely just like find us on Instagram uh, at retro one retro runway <laughs> we have a mouthful and uh like just keep in touch and see like what we've got going on for the week and like learn about uh really cool like sustainability facts as well because that's a big part of what we're passionate about 
Yeah, that's super cool. Hopefully some people listening will consider checking that out on Instagram. Sounds like a really cool thing to be able to do during COVID as well. Yeah, uh, especially yeah. since I've been wearing sweatpants almost every day. So it's <laughs> kind of nice to be able to uh, dress up um, a little bit for yeah, maybe just one picture or something. Um, yeah, tell me about the other club. What was the other club, Art with Heart, that you mentioned? <laughs> well, both Cara and I are actually in Art with the Heart. Cara was actually the one to come up with this great idea. So basically, every month we partner with a local charity or group. So, for example, in September, we um, created artwork for the Guelph Black Heritage Society. And we were able to donate like $200, which was really cool. And that was basically just from paintings or I think I think last week, last month was was all paintings. But honestly, like it can be anything like I know. Um, another one of our friends is thinking of creating like little like dish trays like with clay and then another person I was talking to wanted to make socks so like honestly it can be anything and um, then whatever like you can follow like the theme of the month so this month is um, breast cancer awareness so you know you could you could paint according to that or you can just paint whatever you would feel like or make something that makes you happy that makes you feel like artistic and it's just like a nice way to um, give to a great cause, but also kind of like have a break, you know, like get together with your friends, paint, create some art, get your little creative juices flowing, get, get off the screen too. That was another really nice thing. Like you don't have to do anything online if you don't want to. And so it's definitely a nice break from the screen. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Like that's one of the challenges we mentioned is kind of just being able to take breaks for yourself because online school is really stressful and I feel like a lot of the volunteer opportunities are online so you're kind of not getting away from the screen whereas with this you can take a little break not look at a screen take off our blue light glasses for a little <laughs> yeah. bit and, and just do some painting <laughs> and yeah it's for good cause too so I like that and I like that you're a part of that it's very cool it's little things it's little things like I find um both car and I are like really busy people on campus like we're always running around campus we spend you know like it's not weird for us to spend like 12 hours on campus going from meeting to meeting and class to class and now that that's just like not the new normal it's definitely a challenge you're missing a whole like social aspect but that's mm -hmm. why it's really important to you know check up on your friends and text them and call them if you can and go um like even I I know like I'm gonna have meetings coming up soon where like you're meant to it's a phone call meeting but like you go for a walk like that's how I'm kind of doing some of my uh one-on-ones with my my peer leader um yeah so, especially with the weather yeah. being so nice right now oh my gosh yeah and like it's nice it, to go on go on some walks sometimes yeah get some fresh air exactly that's what's gonna help us Stay, yeah. and stay everyone, safe. Yeah. And everyone's working online. Like mm -hmm. I know for some people, maybe they prefer the online environment because, you know, they're not running around all day for 12 hours. But mm -hmm. like you said, there's the social aspect of that. And it's it's hard to not be around people. And we're very lucky to have our roommates and oh, you know, chat with that. But for sure, like, especially if you know people that, um, like don't live with a lot of roommates don't get to see a lot of people definitely check in on them and you know and like tell them about these volunteer opportunities like tell them about retro runway tell them about art with heart because they're they're good things to get involved with and not only for the cause but for yourself it's a nice little nice little break yeah exactly and it's also this week is um like mental health awareness week as well um so i know that they have a lot of really cool um um events they're running right now and like little activities you can do to keep in check with yourself keep in check with where you want to be at with your mental health because this is especially a time where we need to be like really looking at ourselves and really thinking how we're doing so that we make sure that we're being the best we can for ourselves right yeah yeah awesome well, yeah thank, thank you for talking to me today brand is there anything else you want to add before we wrap up here well 
I think the biggest thing would be to try and get involved right now um, yeah. so that you can have that little element of connection, you know, like go for walks in, in Guelph and like, try and like maybe see different parts of the community that you like don't get to see often, obviously safely in distance, of course, but, you know, go, go for walks and get involved. Yeah, absolutely. We got well, that. Well, yeah, keep becoming brand concludes um, this episode of the Connection Challenge. We hope you learned something new um, and you feel inspired moving forward to tackle the Connection Challenge in your own way, whatever that may be, whether it's, you know, reaching out to some of these volunteer opportunities that we're mentioning or, you know, just taking care of yourself as well. Um, don't forget to follow these stories on the SVC Griff Life page or the Course Link page under Self-Registration tab um, and stay up to date with um, Experience Guelph on Instagram. So we'll see you next time for another episode. Thanks, guys. Mm-hmm.